Hi everyone, this is Andrea Digital Tech. The long-awaited Android 14 update, along with the new version of Samsung One UI 6 for the powerful Samsung S23 Ultra has finally arrived and is gradually rolling out to other Galaxy devices. In this video, I will show you the main features and the most innovative functions of this extensive update so you can make the most of your phone and improve its everyday use. One of the first and most noticeable changes can be seen in the Quick Settings panel. Its layout has been made more intuitive and simple, resulting in a cleaner design with clearly defined blocks to quickly catch your attention. Starting from the top, there are buttons for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. In the center, you have the button block for easy access to the device's main functions, and at the bottom, there is the section for screen control. Here, you can adjust brightness, enable eye protection, and activate the night mode. Finally, there are buttons for device control, providing you with even more control over your smartphone. An interesting addition is the ability to open the full panel without notifications. Simply swipe down from the top right, near the battery icon, similar to what you can do on an iPhone. This provides quicker access to settings without the distraction of notifications. Another notable change concerns notifications themselves. They are no longer presented in rectangular form connected to each other, but are now unique and with a rounded design, giving them a more modern and pleasing look. In addition to these changes, the music player's graphics and animations have been pleasantly updated. It now displays the cover image of the song with a wave-like motion in the player. This feature is present both in the notification panel and on the lock screen. Moving on to Samsung's camera, you can see some style changes in the icons, although they don't significantly affect the functions. What has been added in the settings is that advanced intelligent options, in addition that can simplify and enhance your photo shots. It offers three levels of image quality optimization. If you set it to the minimum level, photos will be taken quickly, which is particularly useful for capturing moving subjects, but it might result in a slight reduction in photo quality. On the other hand, setting it to the maximum level may slightly slow down the shutter, but it will yield higher quality photos. You can also activate the Scene Optimization option, which allows the phone to enhance the color and contrast of your photos to make them even more beautiful and vibrant. I believe these are particularly interesting features for those who want to make the most of the powerful cameras on the Samsung S23 Ultra without worrying about advanced settings or professional tricks. And continuing with our photos in the gallery app, Samsung has made a very useful update to the photo editor, making image editing simpler and less cluttered. Beneath each image, a new icon has been added, a small I, which stands for details. This allows quick access to the main photo editing functions, such as adding a background effect to blur the image, the object eraser to remove unwanted elements, or making specific edits to the photo details. Additionally, if you choose to edit photos in Edit Photo, you'll notice another icon in the shape of four circles, which groups the main photo editing functions in one place. Personally, I find this update very helpful because it has made the photo editor more accessible and user-friendly, making it easier for everyone to edit and enhance their photos with functions at their fingertips. Another great update we received is related to the Weather app. It now provides even more comprehensive and interesting weather information, including air quality, UV index, humidity, wind speed, and important times such as sunrise and sunset, and even moonrise. This extra information helps you plan your day and adapt to weather conditions by having them at your fingertips on your smartphone, all in one app implemented and optimized by Samsung. Additionally, a nice touch is that the app remains completely blue during navigation instead of turning white as you scroll. In addition to updating the app, weather widgets have also been improved. They are now aesthetically pleasing and more visually appealing. Their functions go beyond showing you real-time weather. There's also a dynamic widget that provides detailed weather forecasts for the next few hours. As we know, one fantastic feature of Android is the ability to customize your device to the fullest. Samsung has now made clock customization on the lock screen even more enjoyable. You can simply pinch the screen with two fingers to access the wallpaper, and by tapping the clock as before, you can change its format, color, and font. 
What they've added is the freedom to choose the size and preferred location of the clock on the lock screen. Additionally, you can decide, based on your preferences, whether you want to have notification icons below the clock or view notification details. I would say, always a great choice. Another interesting addition is the introduction of a new type of widget, the camera widget. This widget is quite special as it allows you to quickly access the settings of your favorite camera directly from the home screen of your device. You have the freedom to choose between the front camera, perfect for selfies, or the rear camera, ideal for portrait mode, video, night mode, or slow motion. Furthermore, you can customize each widget by adding a title and selecting the widget background. This makes recognizing and accessing your desired camera even simpler. Another truly significant update relates to a new feature called Auto Lock in the security and privacy settings. This function provides additional protection against unauthorized applications and gives you greater control over what is installed on your device. But there's more. This feature also prevents the installation of system software via a USB cable. This means that if your phone were to be stolen, potential thieves would not have access to your phone from external devices. I find this setting truly useful as it adds an extra layer of security to your personal information and your device, ensuring greater peace of mind, especially in situations where phone loss or theft is a possibility. This extensive update has brought many new features, but I want to show you the last two that I found interesting. You can find them in the device care section, the go to place for many important phone related information. First, there is an improvement in battery information. Now you can see the battery level and its usage separately, providing you with a more detailed view of how your battery is performing. Additionally, the storage space section has been significantly improved. Here, you'll find all the key functions to monitor and manage your device's storage space. This will help you understand how you're using your storage and remove unnecessary data, ensuring that your phone remains efficient and organized. These are the main features that I found really interesting in this update, and I'm currently testing them on my Samsung S23 Ultra. At the moment, I'm happy to share that I haven't encountered any major bugs or operational issues. The performance, battery life, and overheating all seem to be within normal parameters. If you've discovered any new features or encountered any issues, feel free to share them in the comments. I'll certainly continue to monitor the experience and keep you updated on the community tab of my channel. So, I invite you to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on important updates. Until next time.